Hi everyone, it's Fraser from Mo Match Chester here on the quick video talk. So I'll be taking around the 67 plate Vauxhall Mecca I just showed up on site. This is an absolutely fantastic SUV. This car's only had one previous owner and has been very well looked after. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous in the red paintwork. I think it's a very nice style for the Mocha indeed. These are wonderfully reliable and easy to drive little SUVs, very nippy and manoeuvrable. Yet chock full of nice little specs as well. As you can see, they've got to say, and the car's in great condition and very well looked after. As we jump inside, you'll see there's plenty of space and a nice stylish interior. Quite minimalistic in design, but gets the job done very nicely. Plenty of headroom and legroom. A distinctive armrest, of course, on the driver's side. I'll get onto that in a bit. But yeah, first impressions very spacious and very comfortable. Right in the back here, we of course have room for the three passengers, and again, plenty of room. There is an additional 12 volt port in the back as well for the charger own devices. Coming around to the back, we'll see this is the Mocker X Turbo. This means there's a bit more power in it. This is the automatic, of course. But it's quite a lot of fun to drive, you'd be surprised. As we open up the boot here, you'll see we've got an absolute ton of space. And of course, you can fold down those rear seats you want to extend this out any further. So if you're going out camping or you're going on the big road trip on holiday, perhaps, this thing will hold up very nicely. We'll jump into the driver's seat now, I'll show you some of the neat features installed here. Of course you've got your central locking, your mirror and window control like you'd expect. The driver's seat is very comfy, this armrest makes you feel like you're sitting in a nice armchair on those long drives. It is a very sorely missed feature in other cars, I'm not sure why others don't steal this idea. Trust me, when you're on a road trip it makes a world of difference. So, of course you've got your automatic headlight control just down there, very nice. I'm going to turn on the car so you can turn this wheel around. So I just simply pop the key in with the clutch and there you go, off we go. So on the left hand side of our steering wheel controls we've got all of our cruise control options. And on the right hand side here of course we've got our volume control and our Bluetooth telephone control and even voice control. So we can change all our settings and menu options right from the get go with all these functions. First off though, we're looking at our touchscreen display for the navigation, of course we can just move around a bit. But we can go onto our home screen and have a look at all of our apps, including our Bluetooth audio, the phone controls, you can even text to it. Of course you have to be mostly with your partners with you, you don't want to do it while you're driving, your navigation, your traffic warnings, and you can even download more apps. It's a very versatile system, you can change all the settings just how you want it. But of course, it's still got all that Bluetooth, that digital radio and the Bluetooth, all the good stuff you always need. The car's done slightly under 18,000 miles on the clock, so it's got a long, long life ahead of it. The aircon controls, again, are all pretty straightforward. This has got dual climate control. This essentially means, as you can see here, that the driver and front passenger can change their settings independently from one another, meaning there's no need to worry about the car's too hot or too cold on either side, there's no argument here. You change the fan speed settings, you change everything, and of course, you even set to just automatically adjust, which is quite nice. And of course, we do have our parking sensors just there if we flipped on and off. Just down below, under this panel, we have our 12 volt port and our USB port and aux port, so you can connect a multitude of devices to have them playing on the system as well as charging them up as you go. And there's even a nice bit of storage space, and of course, you can just close it and tuck it all away. Like I was saying, this is an automatic and it can be adjusted here, the gear stick. So we've got the lock trigger on the bot bottom here, so I can point into reverse as doing so, and neutral and drive. And of course, we can change the gears manually if we wish to do so with the plus and the minus there. We do have our parking handbrake just under here, and of course, a little bit more storage space tucked away under this groovy thing and additional cup holders and more. Overall, it's a very practical, yet also quite fun little SUV to drive around in. Definitely underrated and sadly overlooked. This is a fantastic little car, can't recommend it enough. It's an absolute blast. So if you're looking for a sporty little SUV with great reliability, this might be a good one for you.
Now, if you want to find out more information about this particular vehicle, you can go on down to the YouTube video description where you'll find a link to the auto trader listing. At the moment, the UK is under lockdown, so we are operating safely under a click and collect system. If you want more information about our click and collect, you can go onto our website at www.motormatch.com for more details. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.